Hey, my friend, here with Dr. Mona Vond, uh, my good friend. We're in Venice Beach, California. Beautiful here. You may have seen her on three other episodes of Fit Life TV. Three. Is that about it? Two yeah. or three. So Saturday Strategies, Mindsets. She is Mother Nature's pharmacist. Um, she is absolutely amazing, and she's here to impact and change the world. Follow her on YouTube, Snapchat, and Facebook. We'll leave her links below this video. Today we wanted to talk about something that so many people get caught up in, and that is the notion of always being right. Yes. We wanted to show you three ways to give up being right and to create more peace, more joy, more happiness, more success, more intimacy, and just about more of everything in your life when you give up being right. Thank you so much for coming on, Dr. Oh, thank you for having me. I think this is a really important topic. Um, you know, when you're trying to get healthy, get fit, just live a good life, mindset is so important. It yeah. plays into everything. So that brings us to our first point, which is um, give up the notion of being right. Be okay being wrong. That's point number one. Yeah, just give yourself permission to be wrong. It's okay. It doesn't mean you're bad. In fact, it means you're more confident in yeah. yourself. Being wrong is actually one of the best things you can do because every time you're wrong, it leads you to something that could actually work. They say the average person tries 1.7 times, whereas it takes nine times trial and error before you really perfect it, before you are able to really get that gold medal or hit that goal that you wanted in your life. So be okay being wrong, lean into failure. I always like to say fall forward. And that's yeah. one thing you do too. Right, like we look at it as little micro losses get you to the big win. And they're yeah. absolutely necessary. You have to be wrong a little bit to figure out how to get it right. And number two is validate yourself. I think a lot of people try to be right all the time, just in some weird way, being self-righteous to get validation. Right, or they think it's not okay or they're not good enough if they're wrong. Where I, I love learning and I love being coached. Like it's helped me in so many ways, and I feel like honestly, it's what attrib what's attributed to my success the most. So number three is ask yourself, what if I'm wrong? It's really not bad. In fact, it's good. You yeah. kind of learn. You see what you did wrong the first time, how you can adjust, and just knowing that everyone has to be wrong. Yeah. You know, you have to be wrong a little bit to be right. So those are the three things. Give yourself permission. Validate yourself. And then what if you're wrong? Simply ask the question. We wanna give you a little homework to do and I want you to write down all those areas of your life, all those beliefs that you have that you insist on being right. So maybe it has to do with religion, your relationship, maybe it has to do with your diet and just list them all out. And then use number three, what if I'm wrong? Ask that on every single one of those and really feel it in your gut, your intuition to see how you feel. Because if you can start shifting past some of those old beliefs, you're gonna open up to be a higher version of yourself. Let yourself be open to being wrong and accepting learning and change yeah. and just growing. And it, I think one thing it does is it makes you more compassionate to everybody else. Because if I, I was only right in my way, in all areas of my life, and you had this brilliant idea, or this way of being or doing things, and I was so closed off because it was my way or the highway, I wouldn't be able to absorb that goodness that you could share with me. You know, one thing I love about the Fit Life community is that everyone's in it together and having yeah. having the support from people like, you know, when you're working with people and you're all a team, you kind of accept help from each other and it helps you understand that you're not always right and you can teach someone something and they can teach you something. Yeah, being vulnerable mm -hmm. is key. It really is. Yeah, and I see that in your work too. So follow her on Snapchat. We'll leave a little snap code all over social Thanks, media. Dude. Yeah, of course. Thanks for coming on. As always, remember, we're, We're in, in this, this together, together, and we'll see you soon.